What's going on everyone? Sonny here, as you can tell by my dirty hands. I was working on the car this weekend. Don't judge me. I'm, they're not this dirty. They're, they're stained. Either way, I had to check out this magnificent mini barbecue grill set from Five Below for the high price of five American dollars. A lot of people have been buying it. I had to check it out. I do love my little props and stuff. And for five bucks for all that you get here, 19 pieces. I had to check it out for myself. Before we get started, we're going to make this look a little bit more backyardy. So give me one moment. A little bit more backyardy. I didn't do this half because, let's be real, the tripod's in the way. So there it is right there. Here's that grill set. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It is secured by tape on both sides as well as the bottom. I'm going to rip that out because I don't collect these boxes and pull this out of course if you want to display it it is displayed nicely in this box i don't want to so let me check it out all right this is also secured by tape because by below apparently people steal stuff so there we are main attraction is it obviously the grill right there. No, not that kind of grill, Modoc. This kind of grill. It is a propane grill, propane accessories. Uh, Hank Hill would be proud. Opening doors, lid opens. You have the burners right in there. Ooh, do the knobs turn? The knobs don't turn. You can probably pop the knobs off and put a little, I don't know, thumbtack or something small, skinny. And make them turn if you wanted to. They got a tortilla warmer right here on the side. The knob also doesn't turn. The tray doesn't fold down, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, there's the phone number. I don't know. Serial number or something. But not a bad little grill set. So we'll put that there. And it is a propane gas grill. So there is a propane tank with it. Has a pretty nice looking propane tank. You could always get a little piece of hose and make it look like it's actually connected in there. Put it off to the side, put it underneath, however you want to do it. it. Does come with that propane tank. Comes with a plate, similar to if you bought the diner set from SH Figure Arts for Dragon Ball Z. It's pretty similar, a little bit more flimsy, five below quality. Comes with this T bone steak right there. All the way on both sides, obviously not cooked or rare, the way some of y'all weird cannibals eat steaks. Uh, we also got some, if I can get them out, some tongs. Make sure you clack those together. Clack, clack like that. Get them bad boys clacking. Put that propane tank on the grass. We'll put that steak on the grass too, why not? And we got... Additional parts of the grill that I didn't see earlier. The actual grill plates right here. So, so you don't have to put your food right on the burners. Put these grill plates down. And they fit like that. I like the way they even got that little slot like a real grill plate has. Uh, does it fit? The other one fits so perfectly. Maybe maybe there we go all right so they both fit in there and you got which i thought this was a pizza at first it's not a pizza it's a hamburger bun with cheese and tomatoes on top it's going to just dump out the accessories right there make it easier for me because you do have a massive massive hamburger if you want to make a massive hamburger you got that hamburger right there doesn't really fit well with the grill size. It's a little bit larger than 112 scale. We'll see some action figures next to it here in a bit. And we have hot dogs. By the way, these items are larger than 112 scale. I will tell you that much. So if you do want true 112 scale stuff, check out Super Action stuff. It's where I get my little foods from. He actually has true 112 scale stuff. I mean, this could be a foot long if you want it to be a foot long. Uh, if you got like a promiscuous girl you're inviting over or just a really hungry dude, 
you got the foot long got a mustard bottle ketchup bottle it's probably Heinz I don't know what they are these are probably 112 scale that's what I like these uh, what are they called kebabs you got a meat kebab and a looks like a veggie kebab we're gonna call them veggie kebabs I don't know what those are called I'm a picky eater I don't eat vegetables so serene it's unimportant with the vegetables you also got a knife, although if you have the, oh, who came with the knife? Cousin Eddie, the latest Cousin Eddie, I think he had a pretty nice uh, butcher knife with him. Uh, he actually has a cleaver too, I believe. I believe that's where I got the cleaver from. Or Gomez, one of them comes with cleaver. Check out Mezco, they got some random kitchen tools, utensils for some reason. And he got a little fork so you can turn the food right there. But that is this set, 19 pieces. Five bucks, can't beat that. It's a good deal. Uh, if you want to paint it up, you can probably paint it up look a little bit more realistic. I suck at painting, so I won't. But uh, there you are right there. Stick around for the pictures. I'll have some pictures right there. Um, unfortunately, I don't have like barbecue or anything to put next to them because I don't know what I did with barbecue. But before we get to the pictures, here it is with an sh figures dragon ball z figure so you can see the relative size this is probably gonna be i'm gonna make my guess this is probably gonna be the best size for this grill is the sh figure arts sized figures they're a little bit smaller than six inch but they are 112 scale but there he is uh we also have this dapper looking gentleman right here also kind of fits right there you can pretend like you didn't get the $300 grill like you got the $99 grill. It's a little bit smaller, but it still does the job And you could also put this on something like this is on this little grass thing So it elevates it like a little inch half an inch higher than him and a little it fits a little bit better that way uh, If you want to check out with Mar Marvel Legends next to it Actually pretty good size for Marvel Legends figure as well Of course unless you're talking about a big boy Marvel Legends then he's gonna need a bigger grill uh, let's see summertime's hitting so you're gonna be half naked there goes with another Mezco figure half naked Grilling it up. He got his own kitchen utensils. He can use if he wants to Just depending on where you want to put them Of course if you got a shout out to Robo from the foosh you got this uh, hamburger Right here. He can grill up another burger. So I have a little bit of cannibalism going on there if you Want to buy some plunderlings over they're always lots of fun. They come with their own little, well, they, you can have them come with beer mugs. Check out plunderlings.com for that. But uh, they can come party up for the barbecue. Uh, nothing says All American Barbecue. Like an All American dude. Captain America right there next to it. Like I said, decent size for a Marvel Legends figure. Uh, if you're worried about what about if I collect Moffex, I'm sorry to hear that. Anyways. Here he is with the Moffat Spider-Man, so you can see the relative size there as well. And so, of course, be safe when playing with fire. Uh, make sure you cook the meat thoroughly. You don't want your guests getting salmonella. And check out the photos here at the end. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching, and we'll see y'all next time.